Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a remote MongoDB database and also how to connect to it and interact with it using just JavaScript and jQuery. Alright, so the, the way we're going to do this is by using MongoLab which offers MongoDB as a service and it gives you a free dev account. All right, There are paid plans uh, if you want a lot of storage so for a production application but for what we're doing their free account is more than enough alright so you want to go to mongolab.com and just register and log in and then you should see an interface like this alright if you have databases this is where they'll show up alright and the reason we're using mongolab is because they give you this really nice and easy to work with API to create read update and delete uh, collections and documents all right. Now, if you are not familiar with MongoDB, it's what's called a NoSQL database, and it works much different than, let's say, your, your traditional uh, relational database like MySQL or Postgres. All right. There's no tables. There's no um, set schema. It's it's very open and very f very free and very fast. All right. So, uh, if we look at the data API. We're going to need an API key, which is really simple to get. It's just in our in our uh, account menu, and then you can see that we can make GET request. So, for instance, if we want to get a list of databases, we can make a GET request to this URL right here. All right, and you got to make sure you have your API key. We can list collections, documents. We can also create, read, update, and delete collections and documents. All right, so what I have here is I have a folder called MongoLab which is in my Apache server. You don't need to use Apache uh, but you do want to use some kind of server because you won't be able to make Ajax calls from just a file in your operating system. Alright so I have an index file which I'll open up right now. Alright so all I have here is just our base HTML. We're also including Bootstrap for CSS and uh, jQuery. All right, and then we have a, um, a script for our main.js, which I'll open now. Okay, so main.js has nothing in it. We're going to start from scratch. All right, so before we do that, let's go ahead and create a database. So we'll click this Create New button. Now, as I said, there, there are premium accounts, and you can see that the, the pricing here can be absolutely ridiculous. It, Fourth, almost four thousand uh, dollars. But what we're going to do is click on single node, and then we have a sandbox account here, which is free. All right. And for our cloud provider, we're just going to leave it at the default, which is Amazon Web Services. You can also use Google Cloud and Windows Azure. Azure. All right. So down here, we can give our database a name. I'm just going to call this uh, Bookstore. Dev2. I think it has to be unique, so you probably can't use the same one. All right, so we'll create that. That'll create our deployment. Okay, so as I said, when you create a database, they're going to show up here. Let's go ahead and click on this. And we're getting a message saying that there's no user and a user is required. So if we click on users and then add database user. Oops. Okay, you can also make users read only if you want. All right, so now we have a user. A collections, this is where we'll see all of our collections when they're created. We're going to have one collection called books, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And I'm about 90% sure that you don't have to create your collection from here. You can actually do it from, uh, from your API call. All right, so let's say create. All right, so that's all we have to do here. So let's hop over to our application. And first thing I'm going to show you is how to make a post request and add data. All right, so we're going to want to add a book. So I'm actually going to paste this form in just to save a little bit of time. Okay, so we're using Bootstrap, so I'm using the class form group and form control. And basically we have a title. I gave this an ID of title. Then we have a category, ID category, and then an excerpt. All right, and we have a submit button, and we also have an ID of add book for the form. So let's save that, and we'll take a look. OK, 
Okay, so there's our form. Now what we want to do is go to main.js and we want to handle the submission with jQuery. All right, so we'll say document uh, dot ready. Okay, when the document's ready, we're going to run a function. And here we're going to create an event handler. Okay, so we know the form has an ID of add form. All right, so we'll say dot on submit. Then we'll have a function. Okay, we're going to pass in an event here and then just prevent the default. All right, and just to make sure that this is working, let's just say console log and we'll say submitted. All right, so we'll reload and I'm going to submit and that didn't work. Add form. Oh, it's add book, not add form. OK, so we're getting submitted down here. Now what we need to do is we need to grab the data that's that's going to be in the inputs when we submit. So what we'll do is let's create a variable called title. And we want the input that has an ID of title, and then we want to just get the val. Okay, so we want to do that for the other two fields as well. All right. So now what we want to do is make our Ajax call. So we're using jQuery. I'm going to use the Ajax function. OK, and we're going to pass in a URL. And that's going to be, let's see, let's go to our API documentation. And we want to, uh, what do we want to do? Let's see, create collection, insert document. All right, so we want this. Actually, you know what? We can just grab this whole thing. Just format this how I like. Okay, so what we want to do is replace this MyDB with the name of the database, which is, uh, what did I call it? Bookstore. I think it was Bookstore Dev 2. And the collection we want, we're going to replace this with books. And then we also need to uh, type in our API key, which we can get from right here, where it says user and then your username. Click on that, and then the API key should be right here. Okay, so we're going to grab that. Just plug that in right there. All right. Now, where we have our data, we're going to call uh, json.stringify. And then let's just go like that. And then we're going to say title, title, category, and excerpt. OK. And then down here, after content type, we're going to have our success uh, success callback. Oops. Okay, and that's going to take in data. And then after that will be the error. Oops. Okay, that's going to take in a couple parameters, XHR, status, and error. And if there's an error, we're just going to console log. OK, if there's data, then we're going to just redirect. All right, I'm sorry, not if there's data. If it's successful and it actually posts, then we're going to redirect with window.location.href. OK, we're going to set that to index.html. All right, so let's go ahead and save that, and we can try it out. 
All right, so book title, we're going to say uh, book, we'll say my book one. Category will be suspense. Excerpt, we're going to put in some sample text, just some larm ipsum. Add book. Okay, so that redirected us. Let's go to our database. Okay, and you can see we now have a collection, books. Well, we did have a collection, but we now have a document. Okay, now you can see our title, category, and excerpt, and it also gives us this underscore ID, which gives us an object ID. Okay, so this is a unique value that MongoDB gives us automatically. Okay, we don't have to deal with this or create this. All right, so let's go ahead and just add in another one. This one will be my book two. Category, uh, we'll say drama. And we'll just use some sample text here. I'll change it up a little bit. Okay, we'll add that. That should have added. Okay, so now we have two. Let's do one more, actually. So this one will be my book three. Category, we'll say suspense again. Change that up a little bit. All right, so now we have three records or uh, three documents in our database. What I want to do now is add them down here. All right, so let's go to our HTML. And what we'll do here is inside the container, let's put an HR. And then what we'll do is put in a class of row. Alright, and then we're just going to have a div, and we're going to give it an ID of books. Alright, and we're going to use that as our placeholder. Okay, so that's all we're going to do here. We're going to save, and then go back. Actually, you know what we want to do is on the body tag here, we're going to say on load equals, and then we'll say get books. Alright. And then in main.js, we're going to go underneath everything here and create a function uh, called get books. All right, and we're going to run the Ajax function. Okay, we'll pass in the URL, which is going to be the same as this one. Okay, so we'll copy that. So you take that comma out and then all we're going to do is from here just say dot done and throw in a function get the data and let's just do a console dot log data okay and now we'll go ahead and reload and now down here you can see we're getting three objects which is each book all right, so what we want to do is go inside of this function here, delete that, and then we're going to create a variable called output. And let's set that. <laughs> we'll set that to a div. All right, and then what we need to do is we need to loop over the data. So we'll use an each loop. Okay, so each, and then we'll pass in data, and then function. We'll have a key and data, and then we're going to just append to that output. All right, we can do that with plus equals. All right, so let's see, let's do a div, each one. I'm going to give a class of well that'll just give them a, a gray background. All right, and then let's do an H3. All right, and this is where we can put in the title. Okay, so we're going to just 
go like that, concatenate, and we can say data dot title. All right, and I'm going to copy that. And then this one, let's make this a paragraph. And this one will show us the category. All right, and then we'll do the excerpt. All right, and then down here, let's say I'll put and this will be the closing div tag. All right, so now what we want to do is take that um, books div that we created right here, and then we just want to output the HTML there. All right, so we'll say books dot HTML, and then we'll pass in our output. All right, so let's see what that does. Okay, so now we're getting that. Now we're not seeing the well. Div, oh, I didn't put the equals. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we got to put the an ending div here as well. There we go. So now... Let's say my book four. And there we go. My book four. Let's just put the word category right here. Cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stop this here and and um, we'll continue in a second video where I'll show you how we can actually edit these books from here as well as delete them. All right, so I will see you in the next.